what happened pregame and the whole decision about Oh man, it was just a little bit of a miscommunication. You know, uh, my whole goal uh, and intentions were to go out there and play. You know, um, I felt like I owed it to the team, and I think just my my wanting to go so bad, wanting to play so bad, um, my body wasn't it wouldn't let me. So when it came down to it, I thought that once one Saturday came, I take shots, my finger, numb it up, cast it up, and try to and try to play. You know, so when it came down to it, I got the shots, I put the cast on it. I went out there to play, and it still felt like in practice when I couldn't really, I couldn't use. I felt like I was playing with one hand. So when it came down to that, I felt like I was going to be letting the team down if I was out there basically bracing myself and just only playing with a, with a left hand. So it came down to that decision, and uh, that's why I ended up playing. Joe, so, what's your reaction to being taken, you know, taken to task since from outside here by people questioning you? That's it, it's, it's, a little, it's upsetting, you know, it's a little upsetting to me. I mean, I, I, I play so hard. I mean, I, I would think that I know in the locker room my guys and uh, they, they don't question that at all. I mean, just me wanting to be out there so much. I think that's kind of what, what the problem was. I wanted to be out there so bad that I, I just couldn't see myself not playing. But at the end of the day, I, I would have been out there and I would have been a liability. I would have been hurting the team more than helping them. At the end of the day, that's not what I want to do at all. Today, Patton said he's partly to blame for that reaction because two different times he said, well, Joe didn't want to play. Mm -hmm. Did he need to patch things up with you? Uh, you know, I mean, he, he said he misspoke. I mean, me and Coach Patton, we had a extensive, he sent me extensive text and then we talked. So we're good. Uh, it just it just a lack of communication. It was just a little, that, that's really what it was. So me and Pat, we're good, we're moving forward. Did you address uh, the DBs before the game? Well, I, I, they, they already, I talked to them right before the game. Like, when I figured out I wasn't going to, I walked up to, walked up to Dante, talked to him personally, walked up to Carlos, talked to him personally, walked up to Kruger, talked to him personally, walked up to Tremont, talked to all of these guys. I walked up to each one of my teammates, because my biggest thing is, like, for them to say Joe's not trying to play, that, that really hurts, because, like, I've been in Cleveland for a long time. I mean, feeling like you got to prove yourself over and over, fight playing through injuries. It's just like, man, if I'm hurt, I'm hurt. If I can't go, I can't go. If I'm if hurt, is different than injury. I play hurt all the time. But if I'm injured and I feel like I'm going to hurt the team, I'm not going to go out there. That's just that's just how it is. I don't want to be out there hurting us. So I think that's that was the biggest thing. And just me wanting to be out there so bad, me wanting to play, I just try to get it to the last minute to see if, 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 I, can make, if I can make it happen. Hey, Joe, some of your teammates came to your defense you know, right away. Greg and, and the locker room mm -hmm. on Monday, he was like really mad mm -hmm. that anybody would even think about questioning your, your heart, your soul. Mm -hmm. how, how did that feel to have those guys jump to your defense? Man, it, it feels good because I mean, I'm in here with these guys. They know, they know my heart. They know how, how passionate I am about playing, how much I want the Browns to turn it around and start winning. I want to be here. I signed my extension to play here and be here when it gets good. Mm -hmm. You know, so my whole thing is with me going out there like, that it just it, it hurt me because I know that's that's not the case at all. I want to be out there. I want to play, and for my teammates and all them guys to definitely, I know they have my back. And even when I found out the decision, walking up to them individually, letting them know, man, look, y'all know I got your back. I can't go out there and help y'all today because I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna be able to help you. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna hurt the team. And just them knowing that, man, when I'm looking at each one of their eyes, letting them know, dude, my bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do everything I can to get back out there with you. Do you think the coaches in the in initially that day were a little oh, man. dismayed? I can see, of course, I got to see exactly where they're coming from. I mean, they're game playing around how around me and what I'm going to do out there for the, for the defense. So uh, I can see definitely why. Just kind of a kind of a curveball. I mean, I, I, they knew the whole week though my finger was down, but I think I just just the lack of communication just let them know, like, coach, I'm messed up, but I'm going to see. I'm going to fight as much as I can until the to the last minute. Did you, Did you have know you to, were probable? I don't know the difference between probable, questionable, maybe not, maybe I'm going. I'm like, what the hell is the difference? Like, I'm hurt. I'm going to try to see if I can go. Like, probable, questionable, I have zero idea of the difference in any of that. Joe, so where's the finger stand? Where's the finger stand moving forward? Are you going to be able to play this week? I mean, that's the goal. I'm, that's the same thing I'm working on. I keep trying to get it better. I mean, I have a broken. It's broken. So I'm just trying to figure out how uh, wrapped it up, cast it up, and uh, figure that out. But I'm just coming into treatment every day, going day by day, trying to get it better. Okay.